Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming with sticky pads. <laughs> they are perfect. Uh, they are perfect for stick the notes in your journals, on your fridge, uh, in the kitchen counter, anywhere we need to stick some note. So first what I will think to do with sticky sticker pads, it will be of course take one of those sheets or those papers and because it has that uh, adhesive back I'm gonna just stick it which one is that adhesive I think this one I'm gonna just stick it to my journal and maybe some stamps and maybe I will stick there some postmarks and make it a little bit more decorative but I do believe there is much more what we can do you know sometimes we need just to add a little bit of color somewhere and when we don't have any colorful part it can happen that you don't have colorful part no colorful papers are at home or not the papers we need not the color we need and maybe that color is on those sticky pads so I do believe there is much more what we can do with them because they are perfect for making additional inserts for your journals glue it on some old paper and you can rip that paper around this is binding machine but it's also perfect for cutting the holes through the paper and for me it looks very decorative like this and we do have amazing very easy decoration for our journal and because we do have that uh, same size uh, of many papers we can do actually uh, multi or multi what is the right word uh, mass produce tags and small notes um, note cards or insert cards for our journals so here i'm gonna add the glue all on all that sheet i'm gonna cut the book page around and i'm gonna leave a little bit of that book page around and maybe then you can add tap and if you don't have um, any colorful papers those sticky parts can use uh, can help you to add a little bit of color to your journal so you can create monetize journal just to using similar papers one color I mean white or tea dyed or coffee dyed papers maybe some book pages and that then add colors using those sticky pads and this is very easy really very easy tag but if I will want to make it a little bit more interesting so once you have the layer done you can take some paper punch i've got here this label paper punch and this is i have no idea again it's two inches <laughs> i will try to find the link for this one so you can take your paper make some nice position I'm going to slide it to the end to make sure that label is straight and slide it here and punch the label then flip the label and we're going to glue it back using masking tape or washi tape. And do decorative layout and also decorative mini tuck. Yes, I do have here this one. I do have here these strips. I love to use them very much because they, for me, they always look so decorative. They are strips from the office. I think it's called linen paper or never ending paper if you will write to the Google never ending printer paper 
it will show you that that paper which has on the sides these perforated edges and here I can glue my butterfly and stick all that with the butterfly on the top I'm gonna place that top and I do have <coughs> mini insert decorated from both sides I do have similar color on both sides and if you will have book page like this where it's just part of the text but the rest it's kind of empty you can use that book page uh, like a reverse of what we created here just use the book page and create the frame using that uh, sticky notepad and put it up and you will have collection of kind of similar but different uh, mini tags for your journal to make something what will match all these creations we made till now we can use the sticky notepads also for creating beautiful frames so i'm gonna use again one sheet or one paper from this notepad i'm gonna add again glue on all that paper and yes, of course, you can use any papers you have at home. Now I'm, I'm, I'm talking about those sticky notepads that sometimes it can happen that we just can't find the right paper. And the right color you maybe can find on those sticky notepads. Or maybe you are a beginner and you don't have at home some colorful papers. And what you have are just sticky notepads. So there is many things you can do with them, decorate with them. So I glued uh, that paper to some old box. I'm going to use my square punch. This is 5.3 by 5.3 square punch. And it's from Fco. I found it on Amazon. I'm going to slide that this way, I think, so I can see. Hopefully I am in the middle. We will see once I will punch that. Ish. I'm gonna cut the carton or that box around. I cut the box around. I'm gonna cut a little bit, just a slightly those corners on my frame. And I do have beautiful frame for my collection of papers. And if you will decorate that masking, uh, that paper, glue it on the box, used some washi tape, masking tape. I'm gonna glue the strips of this washi tape. Like this on my paper then I will glue that paper on the piece of cardboard box or do it different way first glue the paper then uh, on the box then glue that masking tape in those strips and we will have really beautiful decorated frame with similar colors so you can do full collection of embellishments with those papers from the squares we punched uh, with those frames you can use some butterfly punch punch the butterfly then glue that square <coughs> on the book page cut it out and use the butterfly we punched. You can mix it, mix it between those designs and glue the butterfly back to that space. Lift a little bit up those wings and because we do did use the cardboard box or that box as a background for those frames, those butterflies are nice and strong. And here for those butterflies, I'm using uh, this EK Success, this triple, triple punch of butterflies. I will try to find the link for that. 
and if you will lift up a little bit those wings you have beautiful embellishments maybe for pockets for your tags and because we do have that similar size of papers already pre-cut we can do interesting openings or inserts for our journal just to make some nice position of those papers on some paper sheet this is from notepad with that graphite paper so one i'm gonna use on one end the other one i'm gonna glue it on the opposite side i'm gonna cut the paper fold one end and fold opposite end And by using different size of different size of circle punches, then punch the bigger one. And using brats, I can do <coughs> string closure. So I'm going to poke the hole in the middle, I think somewhere here, and I'm going to fix one, here I'm going to poke the hole for that second one. I'm gonna use inside same papers like I do have outside so I'm gonna use the string to close this and then just stick it to your old book page or some tea dyed coffee dyed paper Then you can take your journal and start to put your small additional things to your journal. So here I'm going to make it like a pocket. I'm going to glue here on the bottom and here. And glue it on my page. To hold this flip out got here this embossed piece so I'm gonna take one of these butterflies and just staple them together here on the top just easy way staple it together and I'm gonna slide that back piece to the back to that pocket and that smaller butterfly can hold my piece and maybe some small label or a small notes I can glue it on the front I will see and of course all kind of stamping will be perfect decoration for your journal I glued those papers, those sticky notepads on a sheet of book page. Then I stamped different images and now I am fussy cutting those images and I'm using um, ground espresso on those edges. And once you made some bunch of decorations or uh, embellishments using that sticky pad, you can start to put it to your journal here. Uh, I used the paper, the frame and uh, images from book pages, beautiful flowers and some offcuts from, uh, from book pages. And I just glued them uh, on, that, uh, on that base we made. And uh, I think it will look beautiful on pages. And here I use this butterfly 
and I made it like a paper clip or like decoration. So then just take your journal and start to place it on the spots you want. So here we made this just a very easy sticky note where I will place it. Where I will place it, yeah, here, oops, aha, uh -huh. here I do have that first one, which is holding the foldable page, I added just fake stitching using pen, so I draw all around, and here we have the butterfly holder for this page, so I just slide it behind, and like this here again that stamp and i can place the tag maybe and here uh, another using uh, that sticky notepad i just made few stamped images so i put it this way together and it can go all together and i do believe because there is that image uh, of that flower that it will <coughs> kind of spread all that feeling all that blue here and there and it will create that beautiful scenery so maybe I can here with that background and I will glue it the way where this paper will be peeking out but because it's all with blue I'm gonna take my distress brush faded jeans and I will add a little bit of that blue Yes, just at the decoration. Yes, so I'm gonna add the glue here and here and glue it on my page. This way. And those <clears throat> stamped images we can glue. Maybe this one will be actually nice. Yeah, I think I will glue it there. So I'm gonna put a glue here on that end and glue it right here. That will be actually beautiful. I will like it here. So part it's seen through to that butterfly and part is here. Then uh, it, once it will be dry, I can slide there this tag. So I can start to place my embellishments to this journal. And just play with that so uh, if you are missing the right color of of the paper I was actually for this journal I found that this sticky pad has exactly same color like my stitching that's why I start to use it that's why I was thinking how I will use it in this journal how I will match it all together so if you are missing the right color of paper maybe you do have the right color in those sticky pads and the I think it looks amazing. It can be glued on cardboard boxes and very easily uh, transferred to the frames. So this is my sharing for today. I'm going to play with all these images and somehow place them through to that journal. I hope you did enjoy it. <laughs> it's nothing too much complicated. It's still paper. <laughs> So I hope you found some inspiration. Thank you so much for visiting me today. Have a beautiful day. Take care about yourself and, and I will see you soon. Bye.